Exactly 30 years ago, freedom's bell rang across our great land. The bell of freedom rang in every city, every town, and every village. The sound of freedom rang in Soweto, in Sharpville, in Soshangube, in Everton, Utsabelo, Umlazi, Kayelicha. It also rang in Cape Town, where the Congress of the People met in 1955 to draft the Freedom Charter that laid out a clear vision for a new and free South Africa. That Freedom Bell also rang here at the Union Buildings, a place that had been a symbol of oppression and power for more than 100 years. On that day, as we cast our votes for the first time, a great heaviness lifted from our shoulders. Our shackles had been cast off. The shackles that had tied us down for hundreds of years. The weight of centuries of oppression was no longer holding us down. Even though our backs bore scars of the cruel lashes of those who had whipped and subjected us for more than 300 years, on that day, as a united people, we stood tall as South Africans. We watched as the flag of the new South Africa was hoisted for the first time. 30 years later, we gather as a united people of all races at the same union buildings that once symbolized our pain and our oppression. As we celebrate, we recall and honor all those who fought for justice, for peace, for freedom in our land. We remember the heroes and the heroines whose actions made it possible for us to gather here today as a free people. The 27th of April 1994 was a victory for non-racialism, for non-sexism, for human dignity and progress not just in South Africa, but everywhere. South Africa's democracy is young. Most of the world's more established democracies are over a hundred years old. The progress that has been made in a relatively short period of 30 years is something of which we can and should all be proud. It is only those who willfully will not see, who shut their eyes to progress, who will deny that South Africa today is an infinitely better place than it was 30 years ago. We have established a society founded on the rule of law and the premise of equality before the law. Our country has changed.